Hi guys, Lisa here of Borderlands Bakery here and today we're going to be making chai spiced crumb cake. My friend Janice at Terra Cottage Boutique sent me some North Fork Chai Company Chai Concentrate and asked me to make something with it. So aside from mixing it into cold creamy coffee, I wanted to make a cake that would go well with black coffee. So as usual, you can see our description for the full recipe all written out step by step along with ingredients and measurements on the blog. First thing we're going to do is make the crumbled topping. Melt your butter in the microwave Add in the vanilla, sugar, and spices, and then stir it up to combine. Add all your flour at once and mix it around until it becomes crumbly in texture. Set this aside. Put your eggs and vanilla in a separate little bowl for later. Measure out seven ounces of the chai concentrate and add an ounce of the creamer. It makes a total of eight ounces of liquid. Place your sugars and room temperature butter in a mixing bowl. Room temperature butter is actually a little bit more firm than you expect. It shouldn't look oily, it shouldn't be losing its shape, and when you press your fingers into it, you should leave little indentations, but your butter should not be, look like it's liquidy or melty, and when you look at your fingers, they can have some film on them, but they shouldn't be super oily. All right, so cream your butter and sugar together until it's pretty smooth. I'm using a super fancy Breville hand mixer, which has a light at the head of it that turns on when the mixer is on. It's extra, but I love it. Add in your eggs and vanilla and mix it all up. Then add in your chai and creamer mixture and combine again. It's gonna look a little goopy, it might even look a little broken or curdled and that's totally okay. Also sprinkle in your leavening and salt. Add in all of your dry ingredients at once and mix it up. I like to get most of it incorporated and then finish up my mixing with a spatula just so that all the dry stuff is incorporated. Here's my partition brownie pan and I love it. I got it from Amazon and I'm leaving you the link in the description box below. Later, you're gonna see that this much batter is actually just a tad too much for a pan of this size, which is about eight by 12. So if you wanna be safe, upgrade to a nine by 13 pan. Make sure that you use nonstick spray on your pan or grease it with butter so that your cake releases easier. Pour your batter in and smooth it out with a spatula and just make sure it's evenly distributed around the pan. If you're using the partition, make sure to also spray the partition. I got it everywhere, so I'm cleaning it off with some of my reusable cellulose towels that I saw on my website, which are a great paper towel alternative and they're biodegradable. Then put that crumb topping on generously, add the partition back in right before putting it in the oven. Bake your cake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 50 minutes, rotating halfway to ensure an even bake. Your cake is ready when a skewer or knife inserted into the center of the cake comes out pretty clean. 
While your cake is in the oven, we can make the glaze. I eyeball pretty much all of my glazes because they're super simple and come together really quickly. Here, I combine powdered sugar and our chai concentrate with a little creamer until I get a nice drizzling consistency. The general rule of thumb is that if it's too thin, add more powdered sugar, and if it's too thick, water it down with some chai concentrate. It can take a few tries to get the right consistency, so make sure to just play with it. You can apply the glaze to your cake by using a fork or a spoon, but because I'm a cookie decorator, I have tipless piping bags that I use all the time, so they're always around. I'm putting the glaze into the bag and securing it with a bow clip that's also available on the website. Nobody absolutely needs these, but they are a fun little accessory. Okay, so as you can see, the amount of batter that I used was a bit too much for the partition pan. But if you use a 9 by 13, which is also a little more deep, you will get the perfect amount. So my recommendation for the future is if you're going to be using the partition pan, which is about 8.5 by 12 and slightly more shallow, I say you should half the recipe. That way it guarantees like a more normal size or better size for the partition pan. However, this is still salvageable. Um, I'm going to be running a knife through the parts that should have been partitioned and then it does a decent job at breaking it up into the slices it should have been broken into. At this point, the top of the cakes have been kind of remedied, I guess, with my knife and cooled for about half an hour. And again, as a reminder, because I filled the pan a lot, despite running a knife on top, it has still expanded just a little too much for the partitions to slide out easily. So I'm going to use a butter knife, grab a few pieces out for me to drizzle, and then work on the rest later. But check out how amazing that cake looks, nice and squishy. And that's it. That's our chai crumb cake, and I hope this video has inspired you to make it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me below. As always, would love for you to tag me on social if you try any of our recipes. Also, don't forget to check out Terra Cottage Boutique as well as North Fork Chai Co. And no, this is not sponsored. I just love those companies. We would appreciate it so much if you would hit that thumbs up button as well as subscribe to our channel to see more videos like these.